guys, come on, let's stop being uh, let's stop being thick and think this through, right? Here's what's happening. David Cameron is drafted in because he has experience. What does he have experience in? He has experience taking control of number 10 without being voted in. A hung parliament, right? So they're planning for a hung parliament. Who is the favourite to win if it's not a hung parliament? Labour. They're trying to get everyone labourised by using the BBC to spread pro-labour propaganda and shit all over the Conservatives. And they've got rid of Braverman. See this for what it is. We are being railed here towards Labour. And it's because Labour are communists. Where did David Cameron come from? China! That's where he's been living since he, you know, resigned because he couldn't hack the heat of Brexit. He was a Remainer. What was he doing when he was in China? He was a spokesperson for the Silk Road, the Belt and Road Initiative. What's the Belt and Road Initiative? It's a way of getting other countries indebted to China so that they can roll out their politics in those other countries. We are going to become one of those slave commie states. I keep saying it and people are like, no, no. It's like, see what's happening. Just turn the wheels, you know? Why is David Cameron here? Why is the election going this way? Why are they shitting all over the Conservatives? Why put Braverman in that position and then get rid of her as soon as she was effective? Yes, we are heading towards becoming a commie slave state. So if you don't want that, I suggest you get out there and find someone else to vote for who isn't Labour and who isn't a fucking neocon commie. You know, we need someone real to vote for. But they're not going to present us with these candidates. We have to find these candidates ourselves, all right? So let me know if you find a good one. I'm going to go and look for one now. Hope you enjoyed that and you listened and you understood that we're in the worst political situation we have ever been in since I have been alive. And I absolutely mean that. So uh, go away and find someone to vote for. I will do the same. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye. The irony is, look what China does to its minorities. The first thing they're going to do, the second they take power, is shut down all the minorities and tell us what to do. They will tell us what the majority vote is. And if we don't do it, we'll be imprisoned. Look forward to that. And I'll see you next time.